Okay, bell work for April 2nd. Factor out the greatest common factor. Well, let's see, it looks like a 3. This is the limiting one right here, so we'd say 3. And it uh, looks like every single one of them has an x squared, right? So that's coming out. Um, here's the limiting y right there. So y is coming out. And uh, p to the third looks like a limiting feature to me. And uh, so what's left in the first one? Well, I only brought out one y, so there's still four left. And I brought out three, so there's three of the P's, so I have three left. I'd like to put that, mm, I guess I'll keep it in the same order. Usually I write it in alphabetical order, but, you know. And then I'll let you finish that. Find the number if the sum of twice a number and negative seven. The sum of twice a number and negative 7. If I'm adding a negative, it's really like subtracting. The sum of twice a number and a number, tw twice a number and 7 is increased by 8. I mean, normally I would protect the sum, you know. But since I'm only adding 8, I don't really feel like I need those parentheses. The result is 16 greater. Well, I don't want it to be greater. Um, well, let's see, the result that I just did is 16 greater, so I'm going to subtract 16 so it's not. 16 greater than, now I can say equal to, the opposite of the number. Just means negative n. That's what the opposite of the number means. And uh, then you can solve for n. Simplify, factor if necessary. Okay, well, it looks like um, I have a k to the fourth. It'll come out of both terms on top, and I have a P that'll come out of both terms. So on the top, there's only one left inside for the first term. Uh, and then there's still a negative 2. I took out 4, but there's still 1K. And I took out 1, but there's still 1P left over. And you can see what's going to cancel there. Everything we brought out is going to cancel. Okay, so expand using the distributive property. Write the answer with all variables in the numerator. Okay, so just because it's over on the right side doesn't mean I don't still do what I do. I just do it from the right. So x squared and x to the minus 2, that's 0. Um, I'm adding exponents. And then I have uh, y to the 4th and y to the 1. So that's y to the 5th. And I have p to the minus 4 and p to the 1, so I'm adding, and that's... Uh, P, I was going to write Y, P to the minus 3, and then I have my other term, I'll let you take care of that, and I'm supposed to write the answer with all variables in the, in the numerator. Well, X to the 0 is 1, so I don't really need to worry about that. If I'm going to move the Y to the 5th, it has to become Y to the negative 5th if I'm going to write it on the top, and P, I'm going to change the sign of that as well, and again, I'll let you worry about the second part here.